For advanced education, I, I, I lean towards um, hair shows because that's where you're going to really find classes that's geared to different things that you probably would never normally, you know, do in your salon or, you know, things like that. So I go to hair shows to get that, that advanced education, sit in other barber classes because like I said before, you know, each one can teach one. And so, you know, just learning the difference between what's going on on the East Coast and what's going on in the Midwest, down south to California, you know, the West Coast area, um, it's, it all changes, it's all different. But I feel like if we, you know, if go into the hair shows and sit in these different educator classes, that helps us with our advanced education. Um, also taking like color classes and things like that because that is something that's going on with, with men now as far as, like I said, the men's grooming. A lot of guys want that, you know, you know, either the blackouts where they dye their hair and scalp completely black, or the older gentleman that has the gray hair but they just want a little gray coverage. So understanding and knowing what to do and how to do that will, you know, that all is advanced education because once you get behind the chair as a barber, that's pretty much some time where I see a lot of guys stay. So. For myself, I tend to, you know, look at hair shows. I still use my Milady's Barber book, you know, to, to educate myself as well. And, you know, phone calls. Phone calls, reach out to different barbers and ask questions to them. And that's how you go about getting advanced education. And sometimes you might have it, may have to pay for some classes outside of the norm. And, you know, your education is, you know, you can't put a value on education. So I would say, you know, hair shows and find different companies that's teaching different things and go about it that way. You know, I have traveled to Atlanta, I have traveled to Chicago, to the different hair shows there, and Vegas, you know, even if it's just driving to the IBS show in Vegas, waking up and driving that morning, going down there to see what's going on and, you know, stay relevant and then driving back. Sometimes it's not necessarily the money that you're investing, you're investing your time and your energy. So I wouldn't necessarily put a dollar amount on it, but definitely I have invested a lot of time and a lot of energy to keep myself up to date of what's going on.